This is a beautiful world. I'm Heather McElhatton, and this is a beautiful world. Now, climate change is no longer an abstraction. It's not an issue we can put off for the future. It is happening now. Let's partner in the Arctic to help give its people the opportunity they deserve while conserving the only home they know. Let's finally phase down dangerous HFC greenhouse gases. This is the only planet we've got, and this may be the last shot we've got to save it. Last June, President Obama delivered a historic speech to the Canadian Parliament where he called for a renewed global effort solving climate change in the Arctic. And that call has resulted in the first ever White House Arctic Science Ministerial taking place this week. 300 science ministers, high-level officials, and indigenous community leaders from 25 nations around the globe will gather in Washington, D.C. to discuss Arctic health and climate change. We endured the hardest work and most hostile conditions. At times, there were tears of despair when obstacle after obstacle seemed to spell defeat. The keynote speaker at the White House Arctic Science Ministerial this week will be Arctic explorer Anne Bancroft, the first woman to reach the North Pole by dog sled. Here she is reading an excerpt from the diary she kept on that legendary expedition. At times, we were overwhelmed by exhilaration as we made major breakthroughs. But most of the time, we just worked really hard, wrestling every mile of forward progress from the sea ice. We experienced pain, cold, hunger, and fatigue. For us, the significance of this is that we were better able to empathize with people all over the world for whom these daily experiences much of their lives and whom deserve the world's attention far more than we do. Bancroft wrote this journal at the North Pole before internet connections or satellite phones were available. She says she was isolated in a way that's no longer possible, and yet she felt completely connected to the entire world. That's what we experienced at this apex at the top of the world where all the lines of longitude come together that connect all human beings. We didn't expect to feel connected to humanity in that isolation, but we did. And it was, it was profound, and it remains that way for me today. Bancroft will share her 30 years of expedition experience and education initiatives with a high-powered audience of world leaders and decision makers who, like her, are focused on a message of education, collaboration, and most of all, hope. My idea of a beautiful world is where we have a population of students from kindergarten to 80 who are engaged and curious. They are explorers, whether they leave their home or whether they venture far away, literally. But they're curious. They're that kind of person that makes those connections, that understands that the world is a really beautiful place in all of its diversity, from its night sky to its beautiful 24 hours of sun to the snow, to the greenery. Explorers always go away, and we learn those lessons. But what do I have in my journal? I have a picture of green at home because I want to come home because that's where that lesson gets applied. It's full circle. You can find out more about Anne Bancroft and the White House Arctic Science Ministerial at arctic.gov. There you can submit your ideas for climate change solutions and find ways to help save the Arctic. Because after all, this is the only planet we've got, and this may be the last shot we've got to save it. I'm Heather McElhatton, and this is A Beautiful World.